Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with a full case jumbo break of 2019 Bowman Draft Baseball. Eight box, pick your team, number 12 from jazbeescasebreaks.com. A very big thank you to all of these lovely people here for getting into the action on a Wednesday, Wednesday the 11th. Thanks everybody. If you see a little rooftop next to your name, that means you won that in a team random. And Andrew picked up the last spot mojo Cardinals at the very end, so thanks to him for that. All right. Here's the case right here, kind of a heavy box full of nice hits. Three autos per box in the jumbo edition. And then super jumbo is five autographs per box. All right. Mojo Jojo still looking for the White Sox and Andrew Vaughn. That'd be a nice hit. We'll set these right here. Three chrome autographs per box. Kind of the first main autographs for the for the big names, right here. There's Andrew Vaughn right there. Adley Rushman right there. So this is a product for prospectors. If you're prospecting, definitely some gold. Definitely some gold in these. Um, and as everyone saw in the item description and in the previous 11 breaks, paper does not ship unless it's numbered. And um, but all the chrome cards will ship, and the hits obviously. So what? Christmas party and then Star Wars? Nice. Yeah, the wrong hit. No, um, it's called Regal Cinema. So it's the last one ever. Last one ever, or a last one featuring Skywalkers and stuff like that. There so could be a, be like a different, there could be a new trilogy, people. but it would be like completely. completely You'll see different. like you know the Skywalker in the background of it. Forty-five out of fifty. Logan Wyatt, gold chrome. Just in the interest of time, we're gonna breeze by these. We'll have them sleeved and top loaded before they go out. Have to wait till midnight to see, uh, yeah, now it's just like now it's just, just like, on Thursday night. It's like yeah, Six the release nights are like yeah Thursday night. But I guess that's like select theaters and uh, then like. Up, huh? I, don't uh, I don't know. Where yeah, which which theater are we going to? Delamo. Delamo. Oh, I don't do? want to. Maybe galleries. I don't want to this. Oh right right right. <laughs> Our fans. So popular. Yeah. Like, ooh, Joe and Nick are gonna go to. See Star yeah, Wars. It's like Joe P when he hunts out autographs. Oh yeah, there like could that. be autograph. That's right, there could be autograph, autograph hunters. Yeah. And be like, there they are. We'd have to wear masks, just only to get away from our throngs of fans that'll be at the movie theaters. Is that is that Nick Jaspi? Yeah. Is that Joe Jaspi? Is that Jason? Wow, I thought they hated each other <laughs> on the show. Looks like they no, they're all together. There's Will what TMZ is following us. It's like. <laughs> Hey guys, what do you think about the Garrett Cole signing? It's like, yeah, I mean, listen, not now, guys. We're here for a company Christmas party. Will Wilson, that's for John McCall and the Angels. Will Wilson just got traded, though. He's going to the Giants. You know, all the all the all the trade blogs in LA, Variety magazine will be after us. There's Gunnar Henderson to 499. Blowout cards. Blowout cards. Yeah, they're they're eBay. they're all out there. People will be outside our windows during the Christmas party, like 
Inside Jaspie's Christmas Party. Only on Extra. 93 out of 250. We've got the extra, extra, ex extra. Yeah, we got the extra exclusive at the Jaspie's Christmas Party. There's Victor Victor Mesa for the Marlins. Deep Porter, what's going on? You want to do Who Am I with all the cards? <laughs> all the numbered and autoed cards? Who am I? I was a second round draft pick in the 2019 MLB draft. Born in 2002. Yeah. My signing bonus was $4.8 million. Who am I? Actually, second rounders would not be getting $4 million signing bonuses. And then we've got Eric Pardino, 98 out of 99. And Ethan Small for the Brew Crew. Scott. I don't know. People are trying to say, oh, but Magic plays so well at home. Markel Fultz is out with a stomach virus. I mean, was Markel Fultz generating all that offense? For yeah, the he's generating the reverse line here. Uh, I'm on the Lakers tonight. Ooh, have you ever done ESPN Street for the Cash? I love no, now I'm going to do that too. You've never done that? It's been around for like 20 years. Is it really? Yeah, I used to do it. And then, uh, uh, like, they make you pick, like, an English premiere game when there's nothing else going on. And I always lose. Separating paper, Nick. Separating paper. Nice. We give our shipping team a break. This is my Christmas gift to them. There's Erasmus Aidman to 150. Just one break. I did Super Jumbo last night, too, okay. for that. No, two, they got like, two, one break. two breaks. They were two breaks. It's going to look weird because they're like, wait a second, are there cards missing in this? There's Super Brandon Lewis to 250, purple paper. And Matt Cantorino, purple paper to 250. You got a bonus there. If you don't need a Super Fractor, I'm going to cry. Just in all like 80 cases that we have? Yeah. We have 500 cases in the pack. We got 500 cases and no super fracture. And some kid breaking from his mom's basement is going to get like all the super fractures. That's just the way it goes, folks. Sometimes you get $100,000 Conor McDavid autographs, RPAs out of the cup. Sometimes you get no super fractures out of Bowman Draft. The ups and the downs. Oh, look at this. Oh, Franco. Nice. 12 out of 99. Awesome one. Usually there's a facsimile autograph on that. But no, this time, Joe Haynes, an actual autograph. Joe Haynes with the Tampa Bay Rays. Got the Bowman 30th anniversary. Wander Franco. Oh, he hit 351 in 2018. He's born in 2001. There you go. It's gonna be future of the Rays right there. Yeah. There you go, Joe Haynes. He's excited. All right. So that those are your three. We'll do an autograph recap at the end of the video, too. Here's the next box right here. Wait, did someone call that? A Wander Franco? Some good sorcery there. Buy a lottery ticket, that person. There's Peyton Burdick. For the Marlins to 150. Uh, did Joe Haynes call his own shot? He's like Babe Ruth. It's all the paper, chrome, 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 chrome. Out of 499 paper. Yeah, because I want to see it Thursday so I don't get spoiled. Right, because you know some joker in the chat. Yeah, remember they made the username Han Solo's dad. Oh man, and that then was. They just said hi, and then were... I got spoiled. Just dark times during those days. We were banning a lot of people that day. Yeah, we got to be on as as well, public figure. Jenny, I got pulled over. Too. Oh man, I remember that. Why'd you get pulled over by the cops? Oh man, no. The real story is yeah. Nick Nick drives a Cadillac, really dark windows, and he just he just drives like this, just low rides. You don't know what's happening the, there. Where it bumps? Yeah, and the cops are just like, who is this guy? Some drug dealer? And I was like, I'm just going to Star Wars. He's just going to see Star Wars, officer. And he's like, all right, I'll try to hurry. 
<laughs> Did he really say that? Yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> He's like, all right. Let me just give him. I got a ticket though. You should, next time you should just slide a card to him. Just be like, maybe this will change your mind. <laughs> I always lead off with that because my dad said to lead off with that, so then I always lead off with it. I'm like, yeah, I'm just going to work some, at my baseball card shop. And, he's, and then they always, get, <laughs> they always get distracted. They're like, are my cards worth anything? I'm like, yeah, probably. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, depends on whether this ticket goes away. <laughs> There's Riley Green, nice. That's a big prospect for uh, the Tigers. Tyler Stump with that. Not to be confused with Chase Strumpf in this product. Tyler Stumpf. Now there you go, Tyler. Nice Riley Green, your fifth overall pick. You wanna set this aside for pitch time? Rex says, do you hear the Tesla truck hasn't even been made? People are pre-ordering it for $100. Yeah, that's just like when the first Tesla came out. You know how I many people put down like $1,000 deposits on there? There's already 70,000 pre-orders? That's crazy. But yeah, I remember when the first Tesla came out. I want the new eight, uh, Tesla 18-wheeler. There's a Tesla. I want a Tesla 18-wheeler. I want that too. Why don't they make a boat? I want a Tesla speedboat. Tesla jet ski. Ooh, Tesla jet ski. Ooh. Pull your Tesla jet skis in the Tesla truck. Yeah. Behind the Tesla truck, that would be pretty nice. Nice. That seven million should help. I don't know what happened in Last Jedi, so I forget. We got. We got. Actually, I kind of liked it though. So. Got to rewatch it. There's Jimmy Lewis. I don't remember it. To four ninety nine. I think I Matthew just like the Sims, casino the scene. casino scene was kind of worthless, but... But then, know. like, they're in the field and something important happens after the casino. Oh, no worries, Tyler. No, you know who I like is that alien lady where she has the goggles. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, She's Maz. Cool. Yeah. She's, like, She's bad. Yeah. <laughs> but she wasn't in, like, she was, she was in there for, like, two seconds in, in, like, Last Jedi. Yeah, I just didn't, like, Princess Leia floating. Yeah, that was that pretty, was that was, that was pretty right? bad, yeah. Yeah. That was Wait, did Elon really claim that the truck was ready to go? I didn't think so. I always thought that everyone knew it was pre-orders. At a 250, um, Matt Verling. When does Contenders come out? The 12th, 3, right? Or no, d uh, January 3rd, 1, 3. Yeah, we'll probably post it about a week before. Maybe a little earlier, I think. Since you don't really need a checklist of price. But well, usually they have the facsimile autographs right there, but that Wander was pretty nice. Wander Franco. Hayden Wisniewski and Davis Wenzel for Josh Proust and the Rangers. I don't know how much the truck is going to be total. The Tesla truck? No idea. There you go, Josh, on the board. Yeah, to 71. Yeah, it's a Christmas miracle, Josh Proust. On the board. Now we got to look for the other guy. So this guy's still a first rounder. I think looks like a compensatory pick at 41st overall, but maybe we can find the other guy. Yeah, I thought the tickets would be a lot harder to get. I guess we don't really want to see it that late or super early. Let's see if we All right, big thanks to Nick there for unboxing everything so that makes this break go a little bit more quickly there's JJ Bledde nice or Bledde however you say his last name that goes to EA and the Marlins this guy's a big name too 
Nice, Eric. Fourth overall pick right there. That is strong. And some color, too. 15 out of 99. There you go, EA. Got some paper, JJ Goss to 499. You know, Sean, someone was saying the other day that they traditionally do not include the second overall pick and then save him for like Bowman baseball. Something like that. Yeah, that's what Mojo Jojo is saying too. 51 out of 250, Justin Slayton, Purple Chrome. You know, Darren Porter, don't sleep on that Kevin Maiton yet. That kid that kid is literally a kid. I think he was only like 16 or 17 when he was in those sets. So he, he has yet to, he still has a little ways to go before he hits the majors. And we've got Aaron Schunk. 25 out of 75, black parallel. I think those black parallels look really sharp. That'll be for the Rocks. That'll be for Kevin Kinney, who got the Rockies in a team random. There you go, Kev. It's all paper right here. Right. Yeah, the Trevor Story was a surprise too. I think Kevin Kevin Maiton may not even be 20 years old right now, right? There's Armani Smith to 150 blue. And we got Reese Hines for Matt Sims and the Reds. There you go. Nice one for the Red Legs. Once again, we'll do an autograph recap at the end. We got Ethan Hankins, gold paper for the Indians. That'll be for D. Porter. How long is this? Everyone knows this Corona commercial by now, right? Where the, the palm trees light up with the Christmas lights. Like, how long has that commercial been running? Is the Whistler still getting, like, royalty checks for that? You gotta be, right? You gotta, that person's gotta be. All right, next box. And you can see on the Nick Cam above my head, you can see all the other stacks right here, too. And we got Brady McConnell. Brady going to Jeffrey Peace and the Royals. Jeff got that. Jeff got that in a team random. Yeah. What about the Yahoo Yodlin guy? 
you know. Is, so yeah, since 1990, they're still getting, still getting residual checks, right? <laughs> Royalty checks has to be. It's gotta be. Twenty six out of fifty Nassim Nunez for the Marlins. Hi John. Uh, a buyback literally means it's bought back. So uh, let, let's say this Kendall Williams, right, to four ninety nine. Let's say it was five years later and they did a repack product or something like that. Tops would buy this card literally back off of eBay or wherever they source those cards and reinsert it back into a product. So that's what a buyback is. So like five years later, if this guy becomes a star, right? They, they could, if they wanted to, they could buy this autograph back from somebody, right? And then reinsert it into 2022 Bowman draft if they felt like it. And then put it back into 2022 Bowman draft. And they'll usually put a buyback stamp on here or something like that. And be like, oh, look, Brady McConnell from back in 2019. I don't know where they buy it back from. It could be from private sellers. It could be, you know, from... I don't know. Probably, I mean, mostly private sellers, I would imagine. There's Isaiah Gilliam to 499 for the Yankees. Yankees spending a bunch of money yesterday on Garrett Cole. That was crazy. Yes, like, for example, Leaf Q, Patrick Ewing. You put it up on eBay and, and the... And the person that bought it was Leaf Trading Cards. Yeah, they often buy their stuff back. And then they put it back into like Best of Basketball or something like that. And facsimile autograph right there. Although I guess best of basketball is more like a repack product like we do with our Jaspi stuff as opposed to a buyback. But it's, the concept's pretty much the same. There it is. Josh Pruce. I wasn't worried at all. 006 out of 150. Blue Wave. Josh Young. See, Josh Pruce kept trying. There it is. Yeah, there it is. Josh Pruce. There you go. That's your eighth overall pick. A middle of the order thumper, yeah, that's what you need. That's what you need. I like his autograph. I just wish he kind of made that a little bit larger. I, I want to like expand it, like take those edges and stretch it out a little bit. A lot of paper right there. And there's Ryan Jensen, 001 out of 250. Shares the name of one of my good buddies, Rex. The name is also Ryan Jensen. But he's a White Sox fan, though. Class of 2019. There you go. I like, I like that particular insert autograph. More paper. You hope he turns out to be someone? Um, no, Ryan, Ryan Jensen's, he just got married recently, has a nice job. 
lives near me in Santa Monica. He's, he's doing fine, Rex. He's, he's someone. Out of 250, Ronnie Mauricio, purple paper. All right, next stack here. Um, I don't think there's a traditional like one per case sort of deal in this. I mean, there may be some particular short shorter prints that may naturally fall like around one per case, but three out of twenty-five, Bo Phillip for the Braves. That'll be for Francesco. But there's no like actual, hey, this one thing is guaranteed per case. There's Brady McConnell again, purple chrome to 250. Oh, are the class of 2019 guaranteed case hits? Raul's saying, that's what Raul's saying. Uh, I don't think I've seen them in every case, or maybe I've just not really thought about it. There's George Kirby. That goes to... That goes to... Mariners, Tyler Stump with the M's. There you go. Well, there you go, Rex. Raul's got the answer for you. Those, uh, he's your 20th overall pick, Tyler. Do you know of all, if I've missed a one of one paper? Unlikely. Because the paper, the numbered paper cards generally fall in the same, they do fall in the same spot. There's Josh Mears. And they're in between like chrome cards usually. So it's hard to miss the, the numbered paper. That goes to the Padres, Raul, with the Friars. And even if I did mix it, miss it, Rex, our sorting and shipping team would find it. They would alert me, or just ship it to you, basically. Or they would alert me and say, "Come on, Joe." There's C.J. Abrams to 4.99, paper. See that? That's the numbered paper spot. And I guess if it's a one of one, the superfractor design would just be hard to miss too. Out of one fifty, Tyler Baum, blue paper. How annoyed is Belichick in this press conference? <laughs> no, we do not take other shops gift cards. Unless Sean's paying for it, which is very generous of Sean. Definitely the holiday spirit there. Sean will pay for it. We're just a bunch of Scrooges here. And there's Gunnar Henderson for Francesco and the O's. Exactly how much of that is 
related to the league investigation of the Patriots. Let's see if we can find his prospect mate in here somewhere. Remains unknown, but as you heard a few minutes ago in this very room, a high-ranking member of the league office spoke directly and publicly for the first time. Executive Vice President of Football Operations, Troy Vincent, declined my question about defining... Rex, you want a Jaspi tab? No, that we would definitely not extend that to you. ...evidence and information gathered, including the videotape that apparently concentrates on Bengals head coach Zach Taylor and his coaching staff on the sideline in last week's game. And to be continued for sure, I will ask you about what else is being discussed, and that is the state of officiating in the NFL. From what Wait, you'd pay 15% interest, Sean? All right, maybe we'll do that. ...available today for the first time during the season has been Rich McKay, uh, who's the chairman of the competition committee. Uh, he obviously addressed a lot of the issues related to the officiating, including instant replay, which he says there have been almost exactly the same number uh, of reviews and reversals as there have been in the past, 47%, not allowing, of course, for the uh, increase that we've seen because of the defensive and offensive pass interference being subject to review for the first time. He said, that is There's the Ethan Small to 250. Thoroughly reviewed after the season. The for the Brewers, that'll go to Scott V. Yeah, Stephen Molina saying, I'll gladly pay you Tuesday for a Cooks to 99 today. Yeah, Rex, if you want to pay 15% on top of the tab, I'm, I'm down. We'll work, We'll get the paperwork going. We'll get the paperwork going. We'll have our, we'll have our mob lawyers draw that paperwork. There's Andres Jimenez to 499 paper. Who's actually grown to be a pretty decent prospect in that Mets organization. Twenty-four out of twenty-five. Drew Waters, orange chrome for Luke, and no, check that for Francesco and the Braves. Are you a notary, Stephen Molina? Yeah, Stephen Molina can notarize it. No problem. But then it's up to you to pull you big hits. You can afford to pay it back. And even if we don't, Rex, you know, we can call that in any time. Maybe if you can't, maybe some guys will come by. And, and talk to you about it. 228 out of 499. 21st overall pick for the Braves, Francesco. D. Porter, clearly not our, our lawyer, but possibly Rex's agent in this. <laughs> There's a uh, Denny Reyes to 250 purple paper. Well, who's no one said anything about muscle? We just said we'll have a, a couple people that we know show up. Just have a ta talking to Rex, Darren. Who said anything about muscle? Oh, just a just a polite conversation. That's all. And we've got Connor Capel, 22 out of 25, orange paper. And Nick's too busy to be, to be having conversations with people, Darren Porter. We definitely have some other people to have conversations with Rex. Zach Thompson to 490. You can read between the lines. Yeah, then you know it's going to be a very good conversation. We're reasonable, we're reasonable people, Darren Porter. Reasonable people just dealing with reason. I'm sure Rex is a reasonable man, and he'll be able to come to a reasonable solution. There's Matt Wallner, twins. There you go, Andrew. Twins, that's for Francesco as well. Uh, not one that we own, John. Not under our name. But we can find a van. Yeah, 
this one in particular. I'm just not sure if it corners the same. No, we would definitely. We we're, we're not going to send Jason or myself. I'm just saying, we're, we, we wouldn't have anyone here. We're too busy doing group breaks. We'll send some other people to have a conversation with, uh, with Rex. That's all. Exactly, Darren. It would be, a, yeah, the muscle... If that is what it is, I'm not saying it is, but the people that would go to Rex to have a conversation may or may not be muscle, but would just good conversationalists. And I'm sure at the end of that conversation, Rex, Rex will come to an understanding. Uh, Greg Tracy, no, the cup is not, I don't know. I'll actually check the site. Is it sold out? I've been doing this for like the last 40 minutes. So I actually don't know if it's sold out. Alright, two more of these boxes to go. And again, there will be... Nice! It's sold out. Well, it's probably coming up next. And the number blocks are sold out too, Greg? Yeah, Greg's saying the number blocks sold out too. Nice. So cup hockey after this. We already did the first number block. We just have to do that second number block and then we'll do cup. People are sleeping on it, Nick. There's Alec Manoa to two fifty purple paper. And Trey, you gotta look at the uh, the Nick cam above my head. We got another. We got one more stack. This one and then one more. We got blue paper, TJ Sikama, 132 to 150. Blue paper for the Yankees, John McCall. Trey Bush, I read that comment, by the way, just when I think it's over, they bring another sack in, as uh, Al Pacino in Godfather 3 saying, uh, just when I'm trying to get out, they pull me back in. Remember that scene in the kitchen? Godfather 3. Quite clearly the best godfather of all the three. <laughs> I couldn't say that with a straight face. Godfather 3, best of all the godfathers. Yeah, it is. When he dies at the end. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Get stabbed in the stairs. Well, not him. Eric Miller to 250. I like that one guy. Thing. Andy Garcia? Yeah. He's a good actor. He is, actually. Yeah, Obsidian should happen tonight too. We've been pushing that all day. I think that's the best, best one. Best Godfather. And I think Back to the Future Three is the best one. Right? Yeah, Back to the Future Three definitely the best one. With Ted Danson's La Last Jedi, the best Star Wars movie. Ted Danson's wife is in it. Ted Danson's wife's in, in Back to the Future Three, the yeah, best Back to the the best Back to the Future. Yeah, they go to the Wild West or whatever. What's the What's the best Alien movie? Probably Alien Resurrection, right? Probably. Yeah. yeah. Matrix 3 is the best. Matrix 3 is the best Matrix for sure. You see that John Wick and Matrix are coming out on the same day. Whoa. May 21st, 2020. What's... And Keanu Reeves stars in both. So wow. it's a box office battle between Keanu Reeves and Keanu Reeves. Which Keanu Reeves will win? Yeah. yeah. So they're calling it Keanu Reeves Day. Wow. So we'll have to celebrate I mean, it. He's definitely going to win. He's going to win in his pocketbook. Yeah. Oh, Alien vs. Predator is probably the best Alien. Uh, sorry for the spoilers. Definitely not Alien or Aliens. I just watched Godfather 3 the first time three years ago. So. Oh, Riley Green. Is that our second one? Yeah. Nice. I was like, is that Tyler, I know. For a second, I was like, are we in a second break? Did I just 
blackout, and this is like pick your team 13. No, it's pick your team 12 to O'Reilly Greens. Nice, Tyler Stump. With that, send them to be graded. One of them's got to be like a 9 5 10, maybe a 10 10. Oh, uh, Rex is lagging. He's going to catch up to what Nick just said in a moment. There's Matthew Lugo to 499. Whoa! And a dual autograph for the Blue Jays. Look at that. Franchise Futures Duel, 31 out of 99 for the Bluebirds. That goes to Dwayne Sherman, who got randomized the Blue Jays. Alec Manoa, Kendall Jenner Williams. Nice one. Dwayne got the Blue Jays in a team random as well. No worries, Ty. Tyler might be lagging me on just a, just a little bit too. Not as not as bad as Rex though. He's live now. Okay, because Nick just finished saying that John Wick Four and the next Matrix movie are coming out on the same day, and then like an hour later, you said the same thing. An hour in internet time. But yeah, Keanu Reeves Day. Alright, and the final box, ladies and gentlemen. Good luck to all. And we got Cameron Cannon, Nick Cannon's brother, 80 out of 25. I heard. Man, why, why, why? Oh, is he? Oh, if I'm Nick Cannon, I'm not pleased with that because aren't they married? <laughs> oh, they divorced. Oh, I'm five years. I'm lagging behind five years. Lagging five years. Let me, let me him and hit the live button. Got it. <laughs> Hit, hit the live button. I moved him there. First. Yeah, just creeping in the in the Nick cam. He looks kind of evil there. Look at that. He does look evil. He's just like, I'm gonna get you. I'm taking your toys. Oh, there you go. He looks a little more jolly there. There's Luke and Baker. I know, and then there's like the bolt of sunlight in his eye. You ever watch the, uh, the the Santa Tracker? Yeah, I did NORAD. Yeah, NORAD does the Santa Tracker, and he's pretty fast. Ooh, Franchise Futures Green, 50 out of 99. C.J. Abrams and Josh Mears. Hey, he's pretty fast. All right. Does he calculate how many cookies he eats, too? Wow. A lot of cows. Well, that's why... But he burns them, so... That's true, that's true. He does keto. Probably does keto, yeah. <laughs> uh, no, Jason Bell. The item description will say that paper, like this, this doesn't ship. It's paper. Papel does not ship, but chrome will ship. All the chrome will ship. A numbered paper, of course, will ship. But this doesn't ship. No, Sean. They're actually... Oh, Sean, good news. You actually know this place. Um, 
They're uh, they're redoing the sidewalk right now as we spill. They must have just finished. What time is it? Four o'clock. Um, they're doing the sidewalk. We're gonna put our names in the concrete after this break if they're not here. All right, there is Darian Cruz, 99. But they're finally doing that sidewalk, Sean. Uh, I don't know if that would be appropriate. I may end up on some sort of list considering there's a middle school across the street. And besides, no one wants this like this line across the sidewalk. Um, 169, like did someone drop a pole here? Or? Nick Lodolo, nice Nick Lodolo, Matthew Sims. It's your seventh overall pick, Red Legs. That's for Matt Sims. And there's Seth Johnson. Looks like our th third and final autograph out of our final box. And that's for the Tampa Bay Rays, Joe Haynes. Uh, Joe, I, I, I was certain that a John Doxakis was going to be was going to be one of the cards. He seems he does seem to be one per case, but no. Instead, that Seth Johnson's going to go to you. All right, more paper. See if there's any parallels to close this out. By the way, who likes to drive with the the heater on and the windows down a little bit? Everyone, right? Out of 250, John Rave. <laughs> oh man, that's great. Get get Tiesto out here. <laughs> John Rave. See this guy? John Rave? Big Avicii fan? Yeah, he's a big Avicii fan. He's so sad. All right. Isn't he dead? Yeah, he's dead. He's no longer, he's no, no longer with us. No longer with us. Sorry. Anyway, here's your autograph recap, ladies and gentlemen. We got it's a pretty good break. We got Nick Lodolo up in this. We got a dual autograph for the Blue Jays, a couple Riley Greens. Got some nice color here. We got the 2009 class of 2019 for Rex, Josh Young Blue Wave appearing here. JJ Bled Day to 99 was pretty cool. We got the Wander Franco 30th anniversary autograph, another Riley Green and we started off with the Angels Will Wilson, who's going to be a future giant. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That was a eight box jumbo edition. Pick your team number 12, 2019 Bowman Draft Baseball. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with me. And we will see you next time. Bye bye.